Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Lisa Lachandro. I am one of the annuity sales uh, directors here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services, and we've got quite the crowd here today. So I'm excited for such a heavy turnout um, that really does say something about the invite that uh, I sent out in regards to preset appointments. People are looking to really get in front of folks, um, see that activity on their calendar, and I've got a treat for you today. I've got my buddy Rob Markovitz on the line, and he and I kind of do our little song and dance like a podcast. We invite any questions in the question box, um, but Rob, when you want to say hi. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Yep. So Rob is our consultant for preset appointments. He's a, a master at what's going on in that environment. Um, he's got access to several different vendors. He's worked with many, many vendors. So he can really give you the the straight, honest to God truth on, you know, what's working out there, what's not working out there, what he's seen. And there's always, as you all know, you know, working with preset appointments or lead programs i mean that's constantly a changing industry um you know what was hot yesterday might not be so hot today and so what imes does is we make sure that we're in the loop to make sure that we are always trying to provide our partners that would be you guys our agents and producers um with you know the best quality and, and the best thing out there so with that i'm going to um i mean we've got Geez, a lot of folks on today. So for those of you, this is your first webinar with IMS. Welcome. I'm so happy to see all these new names. Can't wait to get to know you. Um, and for those of you that are already working with us, welcome back. Uh, love seeing you guys um, constantly taking advantage of all the resources that you have here at IMS and the IMS family. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to give you a um, I have a 10,000 foot view of some of the perks and things like you get with uh, uh, working and partnering with us here at IMS. Uh, for those of you that don't know us very well, or even those of you that are already contracted with us that may have forgot about a perk or two that you want to take advantage of, um, jot these down or give me a call afterwards and I'd be happy to go through that with you on an individual basis. So with that, I'm going to click my screen and get going. All right, right out of the gate, when you contract with IMS, we want to let you know that we appreciate you giving us a shot at having that partnership with you. So after you contract with us in the first six months, whatever business level that you achieve, we're going to um, put some, some of our interests and some of our dollars back into your business to help you grow your business. And that's that's what this producer builder program is really all about. So you can see it starts at a hundred thousand dollar level that could equal to, you know, maybe it's just seven hundred and fifty dollars in cash. Um, but when you're working with your sales director, whether it's on the annuity side or on the uh, life side, even um, they're going to help you and we're going to get to know you as far as what your marketing strengths are and where you might need a little extra help with your business. So that's really that partnership that you get with IMS. We don't just throw a whole bunch of stuff at the wall, send you our vendor book and see what sticks. I don't make a dime, you know, when you spend, whether it's $500 on marketing or $10,000 on marketing. We make money when you make money. So that is our best interest at heart. And our producer builders is just to show you in good faith that that's what we're all about. Next, um, we have our referral producer program. So once you start to get to know us a little bit and are floored with our customer service and, and the partnership that we bring to the table, and you have somebody in mind that you think would also benefit from working with IMS, well, you know, referrals is the best way to compl compl compliment, if I can talk, <laughs> too much copy, uh, compliment, you know, those that are doing well. So we want to make sure that you are aware that we really appreciate those referrals by giving you something from our pocket. This does not shave any commission or anything off of the folks that you refer to us. Um, this is coming from Steve Murray's pocket directly to yours. So once a quarter, we're going to issue you a check 
for an override. And I list here on the screen, you know, whether it's Target Premium, Index Annuity, SPL, MIGA Business, it, um, it, it differs as to what that override would be. But um, definitely another perk you wanna take advantage of. I talked a little bit about our partnership. Well, part of that partnership is being your back office support. Um, this is really, I hear a lot of agents that I talk to, and, and this is one of the biggest reasons why they continue to work with us year after year after year. And that's because we have some of the best staff in the industry in my book that help with case design. Um, we get you all your quotes. We help you with your uh, marketing. Um, e-apps, paper apps, get you all the appropriate forms, get you the appropriate material for you to do your illustrations or presentations to the client. But more importantly, what we are trying to do here is we're trying to do all that back office support for you, all that admin work for you. Um, because we want you talking to people, you know, you don't, you don't make anything by um, trying to research and see what the best carrier is. You call your annuity director and uh, or life director and um, you tell them about the case and then we've got all that stuff you know right at the palm of our hands so uh, don't waste your time with that let us do that for you you could truly tell your client that you have a entire staff an entire back office that can run this stuff for you um, they will follow up and keep you posted on the status of your applications so you don't have to worry about sitting on the phone with a carrier for an hour waiting for them to give you a status. We do that for you. So take advantage of that. Check it out if you have any questions. Let somebody here know. Next, um, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here to our website. Uh, our website is IMS, or I'm sorry, www.imsinc.com. Here is a great resource for you guys to have. I would save this on your browser as a favorite. Um, it's, you don't have to be contracted with us in order to register for our website. We are open to that. Um, but on our website, you're going to have a sales resource uh, library. You're going to have access to all sorts of presentations, fact finders, um, quoting tools, um, Firelight and eApp, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. Um, you'll get the latest on our trips and, you know, webinars, like for an example, this webinar and all of our webinars are recorded. So you can always go to the training tab, look at webinars. I'll take you right to our YouTube channel. If you've missed something, or if there's just a subject, maybe rough conversions, you want to know more about rough conversions, you can go type in rough conversions and it'll pull up our webinars on rough, rough conversions. So a lot of, uh, a lot of resources on our website. And one of those is Firelight. Um, anytime I have a carrier that's joining me on a webinar, I always have them give their, their two or three or five cents in on the difference between submitting an e-application versus a paper application. There is a world of difference um, in having uh, things in iGo, which is in good order. And making sure you have the, the correct forms, making sure you're not missing any spaces on the app. Um, and that the process just goes so much faster. So I have walked many, many, many uh, folks through Firelight. I mean, I've even walked a 92 year old through Firelight. So if I can do that, I'm, I'm certain um, I can help any of you if you have any questions or hesitating to starting to use an e-app program. Uh, we are always help, happy to help you do that because it will improve your business and um, save you a lot of time. We have a creative creative marketing team, and I talked a little bit about our marketing here at IMS. Well, we don't we don't um, contract any of that stuff out. We have our talented folks right here in our building that do your logo designs, that can create your websites, do get you a social media presence. Um, literally A to Z, these guys can do it. So if you ever want something customized or you're interested in maybe branding materials or marketing projects that you're working on, let us know and we can get creative right there with you in the um, underneath our, our same roof right here. 
talked about our website. Hopefully you guys jotted that down. Next, um, I'm actually going to set a poll here where I talk about our IMS Wealth Management. Um, just to keep moving here. I'm going to launch this poll if you're interested in um, additional information or have my, my buddy Duncan Smith over at IMS Wealth Management reach out to you and answer any questions. Definitely want to hit yes there. Um, but IMS Wealth Management. So Charles and Steve, they're like, Several years ago, they were thinking, what else are we missing that agents need a resource for? And it's the security side of the business, right? So we have IMS Wealth Management. You can join them if you're already licensed, uh, security licensed, and interested in a lower price uh, than what you're paying your broker dealer. And what all those other benefits that I mentioned before, they do all the same kind of service that we do here on the fixed side. That would be, you know, they design your website, they do all your compliance, they, um, I mean, I've seen them mail and FedEx applicate or applications and paperwork, you know, we have medallion um, stamps for you, we have, I mean, just literally A to Z, they, they make your life so much easier so that you can focus again on recruiting that business and let us do the back office stuff for you. Now, option B, let's say you're not registered and you have to find somebody that's registered because you have a client that needs to be in the market. Well, what's gonna happen? All the stuff you write with that guy, he's gonna want a piece of that too, whether it's life or annuities. And um, why share that commission? You don't need to. I mean, you can handle those sales. So we've got, um, our boy Zach over at IMS Wealth Management that will work with you on any of the security or, or um, in the market type business. He can do it all from A to Z. Um, and he will only talk to them about that. Uh, you will have more control with your client. You will be able to control your business a lot more knowing that you have a partner at IMS that is going to just talk about the stuff that you can't do yourself. Um, here's the best part of that. If you do decide to get registered and you've already been working with Zach, Zach's going to transfer those clients back to you. And I don't know anybody that would do that. Any partner that you're currently working with or whatnot, they're not going to transfer those, those accounts back to you if you decide to get licensed or registered. No way. They're going to keep them. So I think that says the world about IMS Wealth Management. Um, if you have any questions, again, make sure you hit yes here. I'm gonna end the poll right now. And if you think about it and um, are interested in another time, just give our office a call, we'll get you over there. Next, I wanna chat a little bit about our Life and Annuity Academy. Uh, we do hold probably anywhere between three and four of these a year now that COVID is um, finding its way out the door. So we are getting ramped up on these again. This uh, qualifications is that you have to be a producing producer with us. So we need to see some business in the door, but we pay for um, the flights, the trip, the hotel, everything. And you end up with a two and almost two and a half day really retreat. Hearing from some of the best in our industry, walking away with tools and ideas to grow your business. And that really is um, the goal for those academies. So if you're ever interested in that, um, keep, your, keep your eye out for additional information. You'll see a ton of invites for it if that's something that you're interested in. And, um, and we'll go from there. Looks like somebody's stuck on the poll. Let me make sure yeah, that my poll is close. That would be bad. <laughs> On the question poll, Rob. All right, I I'm got gonna... it. I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep moving. Um, for those of you that might, I don't know if there's a, a glitch on our uh, question poll there, but if so, get with me after this and we'll get you taken care of and bring you up to speed. All right, moving on. Um, we do a, a few trips every year. Uh, this one, we're partnering with a theme. 
So any business, um, I mean, this is this one's ended, but they're they're starting a new one soon. But just to give you an idea, we usually partner with Athene on one. This was Park City, Utah. So if you wrote uh, three million with Athene in uh, a one year qualification period, then you would be going to this retreat. There's another retreat that we do, and this is our top producer retreat. This is what this year we're going to do the Seaside Sanctuary in Kiowa Island in South Carolina. I'm getting a lot of agents that are like, how do I get to go to this? Because it's going to be pulling out all the stops. But it's 18 month qualification. So you have until the end of this year. Uh, the qualification is four and a half million points. That is life and annuity business. And uh, it includes a guest. So bring your spouse, bring a buddy, bring a significant other, whatever. Um, we will pull out all the stops and treat you like kings and queens. So if you have any questions on that and qualifications, just let us know. All right, Rob, are you ready to talk? Because we're ready for you. Yes, I am ready to talk now. I just had to clear my throat. Yes, ma'am, I sure am. <laughs> okay, so Rob is our um, Rob is basically our expert and our consultants here at IAMS for preset appointments. And he's, like I said, you know, he's, I don't know, Rob, do you want to see, even say how long you've been doing this? I don't know, too long. No, it's been about seven years, so. Um, okay. Seven so years. So he's been um, getting in the trenches of, of preset appointments for, for seven years. Um, and a great resource for us because he does a lot of the digging up finding exactly how these programs are working, where they're getting their information, how they're gathering their information, you know, how the programs work and the, the mechanics of it, all the above. So Rob, I'm gonna let you go ahead and um, <clears throat> start here and and we've got, we've got several different processes or seven different programs. I think we're gonna right. talk about three of them, right? <clears throat> yep, absolutely. So good morning, everybody. Um, we're happy to have you here. I know your time's valuable, so we will try and make it as short as possible so you don't have to listen to the Rob and Lisa comedy show all day. But uh, anyway, um, you know, a couple things about, um, you know, what goes on with these appointments and just, you know, a, a compressed um, view of what happens is a couple things. A, number one, I've been affiliated with IMS, I think, for four years now, maybe five years um, doing this. And We've had some great success. It's been a really good partnership. That's number one. The other thing is to just to kind of reiterate a little bit of what Lisa went over. And I think where there's an opportunity for most of you is, you know, a lot of you guys spend, you know, two thirds of your day, probably, you know, 60 to 70% of your day trying to figure out how you're going to market yourself. How do you're going to get in front of somebody, you know, um, what do I need to do to build my website for my agency? What do I need to, you know, all this, all this stuff that takes you away from where you really make money and where you really make money is selling product, you know, and that's when you're, you know, when I want to say kneecap to kneecap, which could be virtually through Zoom, that's how most of these appointments are, either Zoom or a phone call. But my point is, is when you're talking to a client, that's where you make money. When you're talking to a guy that builds a website for you, you're not making very much money. Um, and so let these guys do that. You know, if you if if we can fill your two thirds of your day up where you're occupied with other stuff, um, and we can fill that up with appointments, we can usually two and a half to three time increase your business. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? The more people you get in front of, the more opportunity you have. Um, so you know, IMS is an expert. They spend millions of dollars hiring people that are you know, expert website builders, developers, all that stuff. Let them handle that stuff. That's why they're there. Um, that's why you belong to an IMO. So, um, you know, it's it's just a big opportunity. So that being said, talking about the appointments and and who IMS deals with, you know, they they've kind of carved a niche out there, at least with the companies that that I have access to for them. Um, that make sure, you know, there's nothing weird going on. And I, I'm going to give you guys a couple, you know, four basic bullet points, you know, number one is 
these are actually appointments. So all these companies create, sell, deliver, confirm one appointment one time for a single agent. These are not leads. Well, what's the difference? If you've been in this industry for a while and you go buy 100 leads and they're $30 a piece, I'm just giving you the national averages on any type of lead. But typically, you know, the first 60 people don't answer the phone. The next 30 of them are like, hey, take me off the list for the 50th time. They don't realize that you're the 50th person calling because they've sold the list 50 times. And you got a shot at the last 10 people. The problem with the last 10 people, um, and we'll get into this in a second, but um, you know, the first um, seven to eight of them, you don't really have a shot at. I'll explain why, like I said, in a second. But a closer is going to close about 2.1 of those. The average agent is going to close somewhere between 0.8 and 1.2, somewhere in that area. So just call it one out of 100. You just wasted a lot of your time. Um, and the reason some of those get set up that way, and, and one of the things that I make sure and IMS make sure of on these appointments is none of these companies that we deal with ever give away anything for free. So they don't give away free iPads, free gift cards, free Amazon cards, free Starbucks cards, whatever else. So um, those last, you know, when I said you're down to 10 people, usually you'll, you know, sit there and have to do the pivot song and dance on, you know, with, with that group of 10 people. Oh, well, you know, hey, I, I just signed up to win a free iPad, you know, um, I don't, you know, and then you have to sit there for 45 minutes, wasting your time telling them why they need insurance. So um, that's, that's a great bullet point. And um, the next, the next two things I think are really vital um, about these systems is number one is, you know, when these people are engaged, they actually create the appointment for the date and the time of the appointment, um, which is huge. Instead of, somebody being on the phone trying to hardball them oh no hey the agent's only available at you know eight o'clock and and uh, we need you tuesday at eight well the person isn't available and if they pressure them enough the person sets the appointment but they don't show up on the appointment none of these systems do that the client actually determines the date and the time of the appointment and then we grab that appointment or these systems grab these appointments and then they look at your calendar availability and if you're available the appointment's delivered to you if it's not it goes on to the next agent's calendar and it would be delivered there if they were available. So um, that's a huge thing. The last thing, the opportunity, and, and um, Lisa has this pulled up on the thing. These companies create appointments with, you know, the K through 12 educators, um, their state employees, there's colleges, universities, community colleges, city, county, municipality employees, um, and of course, the federal government employees, she's got the VAs in there, but some of these companies do more than just the VA hospitals. The nice thing is, and I would ask all of you on this phone call, and there's a lot of you on here, um, you know, you all have, if you've been in this business for a while, you all have somebody that's a teacher, a professor at this or that, somebody that's participating in a pension. And um, here's the opportunity, the fourth opportunity on these appointments. I would ask you, all of you, if I could speak to all of you, I would ask you the question, hey, have you ever reviewed their pension? Well, I know what those numbers are. You know, I've talked to a crowd of 10,000 agents, um, ask the agents the same thing, all 10,000 hands are up in the air. They all have some type of an employee that has or some type of client that has a, a pension. Um, and I said, keep your hands up if you've ever reviewed it. There were five hands up in the air. And so what's a big opportunity about that? One of the biggest challenges in the financial service industry is a number one you know how do i get in front of somebody that's really not a challenge or how do i meet somebody maybe not a challenge you know it's pretty easy to meet somebody the challenge is how do i get them to push their finances across the table and the nice thing about these appointments from any of these companies is that they are you know straight up front hey would you like your pension um and your retirement review it's either yes or no if it's yes they go ahead and create the appointment if it's no they go down the roadside but where there's an opportunity here is if their pension's never been reviewed by their financial advisor, which is usually the next biggest challenge, at least I hear with, with advisors is, hey, everybody I run into that has a job and has some income already has a financial advisor. How do I get around it? Well, here's your opportunity because you're doing pension reviews. So um, that's that's basically the the areas we go down um, and, and um, you know, where the appointments are created. Uh, there's a bunch of different groups we have an opportunity with. 
Lisa and, and her team can help you over there. Um, next, you know, Lisa's got this, this slide up right now about the process of what goes on. Um, and like she says, typically most of these companies are doing uh, this via email um, and it's for an income gap analysis. Um, and most of them, you know, 91 to 92% of the people that participate in the pension have no clue that there is a retirement income gap or what's called a pension shortfall. Um, so that makes an, makes a huge opportunity. Next bullet on there, Lisa has down, hey, the appointments are booked according to your schedule and availability. Most all these systems run Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. Um, the cool thing is she's got a thing in here, register, sit back and watch your calendar fill up with appointments. One thing that's huge in this, if you guys, any of you that have been in this business for a while is, you know, you go on vacation and you're sitting there with your family, you go to Hawaii, wherever you go, right? And you're going, hey, I'm leaving Friday. I'm back the, not that Monday, but the following Monday, right? So you're gone for about 10 days. And, and everybody has a tendency to do this, but they make it until about Wednesday and they're sitting by the pool with their funny drink with the umbrella in it, right? And then their mind starts working on them and they're like, hey, you know, it's almost tomorrow's Thursday and then Friday and then I gotta be home and I don't have anything on my calendar. Well, it's like Lisa says in the slide, hey, register, sit back and watch your calendar fill with appointments. The nice thing is when you're not available, you block it out in your calendar, you won't receive any appointments. So it doesn't matter whether you're going on vacation with your family, you're going on, you want a trip with IMS because you're a big producer, you um, have a client you're gonna meet with that's been a client of yours for 10 years, um, and you meet them every Thursday at, at three o'clock, lock it out in your calendar, you won't get any appointments. So that's really the nice thing is most of these systems do all the confirming for you. You don't have to do any confirmations. You pick up the phone and call at the time of the appointment. Um, so Lisa, yeah, I don't know. I do, you have a yeah, here. you know, I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, kind of going on, you know, sit back and, and watch your calendar fill. So this is going to be a majority of these programs that we have. Um, it is going to take some account management on your part. And, you, you know, as you get to know me or Rob, you know, I'm pretty blunt. You know, on whether, you know, like I said before, I don't make a dime on whether you spend 500 or 5,000 on marketing. I make money when you're successful. So that you are in my best interest here. Um, so calendar management is something I can't stress enough with these programs. Um, and then just kind of thinking, okay, well, how much money and how much time are you spending on marketing to get two or three appointments in your calendar every week? Um, you know, just average that with the cost of what these programs might might cost you to have that kind of activity. So that's something to to balance out. You know, when when we're talking about your marketing plan or when when you're considering some of these um, these vendors that we're going to talk about here in a minute, and when we break it all down for you, with the time and energy and the time and money that you spend, typically. Um, you know, trying to just fill your calendar and get in front of new prospects, not working your old book, but new prospects, um, you know, could be worth $65 an appointment or $99 an appointment or whatever it is. So uh, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. That's something I ask my agents to always think about. And then I'm going to, um, Rob, I'm going to go ahead and move towards the calendar here. Yeah, and absolutely. <clears throat> Like Rob was saying, so you don't need to do any follow-up. As a matter of fact, they don't want you calling these guys at all before that appointment because you could scare them off. So if you start doing that, you're probably not going to have the success that you're looking for. Um, so we're saving some time on that. Next thing is, like I said, whatever availability you have on your calendar, that's what I would say that expect an appointment for those times. If you have your calendar completely blocked off, obviously you're not gonna see appointments. But if you have your uh, calendar completely wide open, you could end up being overwhelmed and it would be a complete waste of your money because there's no way you're gonna be able to get to all those appointments first off. Second off, your next week is gonna be already full and you won't be able to have your second appointment meeting or any room to schedule a second appointment. 
So we got to be, we got to be cognitive on that. We got to really think through our calendar management to make this process a successful process for you. And with that, Rob, I'll let you talk about how, how these get set up in the calendar and how that works. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing too on this system or all any of these systems pretty much is, um, you know, for those of you out there, um, we haven't even talked about price. I'm going to let Lisa discuss that later on. But, you know, I've talked to thousands, tens of thousands of agents just like yourselves that are, um, you know, oh, well, you know, hey, I bought these appointments from this one guy and I had to prepay him $3,000 and they were $300 an appointment. And I only received, you know, three appointments over the last four months. Um, you know, I always tell agents on these systems right here, start out slow. You can see on this picture Lisa has up, you know, Friday the 5th up there, um, all those green items are our appointments. And um, some of these systems, almost all of them that we deal with, or at least that I deal with, if you have an open calendar day, they could fill it and put eight appointments on their day. Eight appointments a day is too much for, for most agents. And, um, you know, Lisa and the people over at IMS can help you with that when you begin and start up. But, um, I always say, hey, you know, block some of those hours out in your calendar. Don't don't think uh, anything else. Most of these appointments too are going to be two appointment fall, you know, two to three appointment closers. So um, you got to keep some room open um, down the road. You know, I've had a lot of agents over the years where I look at their calendar and it's completely full, and I'm like, how's it going? These appointments are amazing, and I go, yeah, but are you writing any business? Well, no, I haven't gotten back to it yet. They're getting so busy with appointments up front, they can't do their second and third follow-up appointments. So, um, um, you know, as far as as far as that goes, you know, that's a big, big thing. I don't know, Lee, do you have any other comments on that side of it? And we're, we're going to move on right there. <clears throat> Lee, did I lose you? Sorry, I was on mute. I did have a question that came up in our question box that I think is a, a very good point. Um, so are we saying that everything is going to be done virtual? Yes. Mm -hmm. The answer to that is yes. So <clears throat> now if you select, because you'll be able, there's drop down menus and all that. So you'll know exactly the type of appointments that you're going to be receiving. You'll know if it's a college because you selected that college. You'll know if it's a school district because you selected that school district and so forth. Um, and you know, some of my agents, they only want to work locally so that they can have that first virtual appointment or phone call appointment over, you know, done first. And then I have some of them that require for the client to come into their office and they have their own sales process. That's fine. Um, most of my agents though, do everything virtual. So if you are licensed in multiple states, and let's say you just want to stay in um, pensions, which would be the federal space, because pensions are very similar across across the states versus, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe school districts are going to be a little bit more individually um, played out. And you'll have to learn those programs or their um, pensions, the 403Bs and how that, all that works for each school district and things like that, yeah. So, um, you know, it really kind of depends. I mean, I have some agents that used to be teachers, so maybe the K through 12 school districts is a perfect avenue for them because, you know, they've walked a mile in their shoes and they understand how those 403B programs work. Um, maybe you worked for the government. I mean, I, I talked to a lot of agents that have actually been an employee of one of these categories. So <laughs> that would be a great category for you to start with, I would think. Yep, absolutely. Um, Lise, yeah. one thing I want to I want to chime in on that. You know, it's like, hey, we have a ton of clients that are down, you know, down in Florida that that um, you know, originally from Pennsylvania. I don't know why, but um, they've been living in Florida for 15, 20 years. They're licensed in both states. They buy appointments in both states and do very well. So um you know the opportunities there to expand your business you know and and um, mm -hmm. i think for for those of you i mean there are some agents you know i've got a guy like that in in uh, scottsdale you know he works um you know of course arizona i think new mexico utah and idaho and um he's got a really nice office in scottsdale does a ton of business but 
um, he still takes those out of state clients, you know, and he goes, Hey, once in a while I get the right client, you know, I'm flying up to Idaho, but he goes, Hey, um, he just deals in the college market and he's moving quite a bit of money here and there. So for him, you know, he goes, Hey, it's just an opportunity to, to be able to expand my business. And, you know, he's been a client of mine for about six or seven years and he's doing phenomenal. So I think there is an opportunity that way to, you know, be able to give you the availability to keep your pipeline full. And the other thing is, you know, there's a ton of referral business done off these appointments as long as you train yourself to ask. So um, lots of opportunity on that side. That's all I wanted to say, Lisa. Okay. Well, I got a couple other questions I want to address here in the question box and continue to move forward here <clears throat> so we can talk about pricing. And then the, um, we're going to talk about three of the programs. But all in general, um, it'll be in the time zone that you are in. So I have a question here, wanting to know, you know, like I said, if you're licensed in several states, you know, obviously those are going to be different time zones. It'll follow whatever the time zone for that state is in your calendar where you are at. So you don't have to worry about doing that calculation. Um, just worry about your available your available time on when you're managing your calendar, and then the system will. Um, adjust the the time zone to that so you're all good there hopefully i answered that question yeah uh, typically on that one lisa i can explain that a little bit better on the calendar that lisa has up there right now everything um if we go back to the uh friday the 5th it says 9 10 11 2 and and i can't read that because i'm blind uh the last one but those are all in your time zone most of these appointment companies um Let's just say that nine o'clock appointment was set and you're you're on Pacific Standard Time and let's just say you're running appointments in Florida, um, which is Eastern Standard Time. Typically it would say the 9 a.m. would be in your time and then it would have in, in parentheses, um, it would note that it's 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But Lisa's correct in saying that when you set these up with these systems, they will tell you, you'll pick be able to pick your time zone and everything will be calculated back and delivered in your time zone yep um i want to move on with because we got about 20 minutes left and i want to make sure that we're getting all these questions answered um you know, are they just life appointments or annuity appointments and what the cost is we're going to get to that in just a second when we talk about the different um the different plans and another question is, you know, are these leads qualified by age, income, assets, retired, still working, blah, blah, blah? No, they are not. These are going to be folks that are um, flat out responding to an email um, that you had um, received or that that employee has received asking if you have questions about your retirement and pension. Now, I'm going to cover a little bit of the previous question in that response. Now, you could have a 33-year-old teacher if you're doing, you know, uh, K through 12. You know, well, maybe they don't have a whole lot of 403B rollovers or maybe old employing um, pensions or whatever um, to work with. But that is a heck of a good opportunity for an IUL sale. And I'm Rob and I are going to talk a little bit about some of the what we're seeing out there in the market right now as to where you're seeing more annuity sales, where you're seeing more life sales. So we can definitely customize that and discuss that on an individual basis with you as well. Um, so yeah, they're not going to be. You're going to have the information you're going to you're going to receive on the client is just what you're seeing here in this example. The appointment with Benjamin. Um, you're going to have his his name, what school district, you know, and some contact information. So when you're working these um, these preset appointments. You're gonna want to make sure that you have your process down, okay? In the first in the first appointment, this is where I want to um, discover or or accomplish. And then your second appointment, you know, you're gonna want to make sure you have that second appointment scheduled before you get off that first call. Uh, things like that. So, just to answer some of those questions. Um, one other one, thing in there too, um, really quickly, um, on that Benjamin, you guys can't see the rest of it, but below. If you if we would have clicked that all the way, it opens up into a full page and below where it says work email and personal email, all that information's there, their phone numbers there, their emails there. Um, of course, at the top of it, you can see the client's um, information of what school district and stuff they're in. But to answer your question, I can tell you one thing: the average age of a 
client in the K through 12 market is probably in that 47 year old area. The college market's a little bit older than that. One thing is all these appointments we're reaching out to, all these companies reach out to, these are all employed people. So yeah, they could be a you know half a year away from retirement. They could be five years away from retirement. The thing is they have income. Um, so you're not meeting with a bunch of broke people. One other really quick thing, uh, somebody had asked, you know, hey, the, about the time zones, just to clarify on that, the example was asked, hey, I live in North Carolina, I'm licensed in multiple states, some of them including Texas and Washington State. Um, there is a difference, You there's the difference is you block your calendar off a little differently, and Lisa and her team can explain that, that um, if you were in the state of, of, for example, the state of North Carolina, and he was getting appointments or she was getting appointments in the state of Washington, you just wanna make sure you block your calendar off a little bit further. A client could technically, if your calendar were open at seven o'clock at night, for example, and you didn't have any blocks in the evening, a client in the state of Washington could create a 7 p.m. appointment, and that would be three hours ahead. So that would be a 10 p.m. appointment in North Carolina. Um, so you just want to block your calendar out. We we can take you guys through that, but we always tell agents, hey, um, you know, just operate in your own time zone as far as you know the times you want to work. So if you normally want to work from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m., great. Create a block on your calendar from um, depending on where you are, maybe from 4 a.m. in the morning until 9 a.m. And then you create a block on your calendar, say from 5 o'clock if you wanted to work up till 5 five until 10 o'clock and then you don't have to worry about it that's if you're jumping a bunch of time zones that's kind of a um um thing we can process we can take you through so sorry about yep. that Liz. you're good you're good i'm gonna reply to all on some of these questions so that we can keep moving and then obviously <clears throat> um we're going to you know rob and i will you know touch base with all of you as well that are you know have additional questions help you pick the best plan. But Rob, with 15 minutes left, I really do wanna just jump into the three options here. Um, so I'm gonna go to the pricing and some of some of those things. I know there's uh, a lot of pricing questions and there's what are the requirements. So most of these programs are gonna be $64 per appointment, whether you're choosing any of the four categories that we talked about, that's the K through 12, colleges, municipalities and uh, federal. So <clears throat> with that in mind, we have three different avenues for you to take. Now, let's say you've already been in the, in the 403B space and you've been working that space for a long time. You already have a closing rate, but maybe you're tired of paying for your appointments and you wanna look at another avenue. Well, with that, we do have our Sterling program and with the Sterling program, there is a, a, a requirement that you have to already have been in that space. You already have to be an expert in that with um, with a closing ratio of, what is it, 10 or 20%, Rob? Yep, correct, correct. Is it 10 or 20? Please. It's, uh, did you hear me? I said it's, it. when they start out, they want them at 10 and, mm -hmm. um, I believe, um, you know, after they've been in the program for a while, they want them at that 20%. Yep. So that is not going to be a good fit if you've never worked in that space before. You you won't get approved for that program. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Um, but that program, they do pay for the leads, but it is a 25-75 comp split on all the business that you write from that lead or appointment, I should say. So um, that means you keep 75% of the commission and then you write Sterling on the app for the other 25%. There is no training involved. There is no assistance involved on that. That's why you have to be an expert on it. The trade-off is that they're providing you with the appointment and the expectations are that you're gonna be able to close those. So that's option one. Is there anything you wanna add to that, Rob? No, I do not. That's perfect. Okay. Option two, we're going to talk about just straight up, no contract, no nothing. And none of these you have any contracts with, by the way. There's no startup fees on any of that. That's something that IMS has worked out with all of these vendors. 
um, to take care of that for you as part of your partnership with us. But um, so there's no minimum of, you know, whatever leads or minimum of so much spent or whatever. Um, so the second option would be to just go direct and we have, you get your, your pick of the pie, you know, any of those four categories and it's $64 per appointment. And that's um, not a lot of, no training. I mean, you have our back office support, but you have to do the work and learning the pension and all of that stuff um, on your own because you're gonna wanna be an expert before you have that first call. You're gonna get your, um, you wanna make sure that you're a reliable source and that the client feels that on the other end. So that's $64 per appointment. You're on your own. You can do whatever you want. You receive 100% of your commission, no splitting or anything. The third option, it would be primarily in our Fed space. And that's our Federal Stone program. And with that, they do provide the training. They do provide the help. They provide, um, you know, the pension reports for you. So they their office rolls those reports for you as well. That is a 75-25 split and you pay $64 per appointment. Now that is gonna be more for those folks that are new to this or maybe you're not new to this and you just wanna be an expert in the federal space or whatever. They the basically how that runs is every Monday they have a meeting with all of their agents that are signed up for that federal program and um, they talk about, you know, how federal pensions work and answer any questions and all of that. So that's a big, nice community, um, group community that you're, you get to be a part of. Then I think it's Wednesdays and Thursdays. Wednesday, you have your kind of one-on-one -on -one, uh, training, you know, scripts and things like that, some homework that they're gonna give you to get you going as soon as possible. Then the, I think Fridays is, um, I think there's another one, I'm not 100% sure, but so yeah, I mean, the training program that they have is outstanding. And I feel like that's a good one. If you haven't ha already have a process going or, or um, you know, you're wanting to have a better close ratio, then I typically will, will suggest that program over doing them yourself and learning the hard way. These guys have been in the business for over 30 years, so they all made, <laughs> They made the mistakes for you um, and know what works. Now with the Fed program, you know, a couple months ago we were seeing more annuity sales, but here recently, and it's common towards the end of the year, people are more focused on life insurance. So right now, you know, they're they're typically seeing more IUL sales than annuity sales, but that's okay because you're gonna have Corey and Sandra Stone assisting you every step of the way there. Um, Rob, do you wanna, so that's the three programs, really. It's Sterling, if you're already an expert, they pay for the appointments, 25-75 right. split. It's on your own, you don't do any commission split, you set up your calendar, you do what you want. Then there's the federal space. It's a 75-25 commission split, you keep 75, put them on the app for 25, and you pay for your $64 per appointment. Yep, absolutely. Um, you know, one thing too on these guys, just an opportunity, keep your pipeline full, keep activity rolling. Um, you know, you may, you may get on one thing and, and go, Hey, you know, I, I don't need this anymore. I just want to buy them on my own. You may buy some on your own and go, Hey, I want to get on this other program. Um, you know, Lisa and the team over at IMS can work that out for you. I'll help along the way. You know, any, you know, some of you probably have some more questions. Um, there's a lot of you I know that are excited. I mean, we have a lot of people on this call, a lot, lot of people on this call. Um, reach out to the people over at IMS. You know, um, if you have a question, they can cr connect you directly to me um, if need be, or or if they can't answer a question, um, they're they're more than happy to hand my information out. And, and I mean, I think the next biggest step, you know, we're at the beginning of the year. Everybody probably has some goals and initiatives set together for this year. Um, and, and I always say this, you know, Lisa laughs at me, but it's like, hey, 
if you want to make a change, you got to do something different this year that you didn't do last year, right? Otherwise, your result is going to be the same. And so, you know, here's the opportunity to get things rolling, get your pipeline full. Um, you know, I have some guys doing some ridiculous amounts of business off this. And, you know, I know some people scoff and go, hey, the K through 12 market or the college market. I mean, there's money there. You know, there's more there's more school teachers married to millionaires than any other profession. Um, by the way, when we're talking about these appointments, I did see one one question come through. Um, if you say college market, Fed market, we're talking about the employees that work for those markets. So if we say city, county, it could be a fireman, a policeman. If we say university, it could be a professor there. It could be the dean of the school. Um, you get the drift. So um, anyway, that's that's the opportunity, you know. So if you want to make some change this year that you didn't make last year, you know, here's your opportunity. Um, you know. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm trying to respond to everybody's question here in the question box. I know we have um, just a couple minutes here left. I want to talk a little bit and utilize that time for, you know, what's our next step. And I'm going to launch a poll here. Um, if you, uh, this is something that you definitely want to look into and have a have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Rob or myself, or maybe you're already working with annuity or life director here. Um, select yes, and I'll get you to the right person or call you myself. Um, and know that I'll be sending out this recorded webinar as well to everybody that's on here. So if there's any points that you wanna go back and listen to or um, slides you wanna review again, you'll have access to that. Um, and then for those of you that are not contracted with IMS already, definitely select yes here. You do have to be a contracted producer with us to access any of these programs. Um, one, one thing too, Lise, really quick. Hey, everybody, um, you know, one of the cool things about being associated with IMS is you get all these other tools, right? Um, the other thing is, there was a question asked, is there a minimum or maximum? No, because of your association with IMS, there's no contracts, there's no minimums, there's no maximums. IMS is taking care of any sign-up fees, monthly access fees, registration fees that some of these companies charge on top of your getting a VIP price on appointments. Typically, these appointments sell for a lot more in the marketplace. Um, if you go out there on your own, most of these are going to be between $100 and $150 per appointment. So you are getting a little, quite a, quite a bit of leverage with um, Lisa and her team over at IMS, plus the guidance you get. You know, I mean, it's it's great to go do some stuff on your own, but um, they are there to help you. And I think really it's more than a package deal. You know, there's some other opportunities that you know Lisa and I haven't discussed. <clears throat> that are marketing opportunities that are available through IMS that I don't represent, and um, which is fine. You know, hey, we want you to have ROI, we want you to exceed, succeed, and we want you to, you know, um, reach those goals that you guys have set for yourself. So, um, lots of opportunity on that side. I know a lot of people are really fired up about, hey, what are the next steps? And the next step is pick up the phone, reach out to Lisa and the team over at IMS, and they'll get you up and rolling. You know. Yep. Sorry, Lisa. I have, no, I appreciate the feedback there. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that we're not hiding any fees. There's no fine print. You're going to get everything that you see. So um, I know there's other competitors out there that might take a, a portion of your commission. Plus, on the back end, they're charging you for the appointment. Um, you know, with us, I mean, you're going to, we're going to tell you exactly. I mean, there's no, we're not taking any cut on your commission at all or any of that, you know, for these leads. It just, it's cut and dry. If you select the Sterling appointment, it's a 25-75 split, split with Sterling. That's on the application. That's something that you're signing off on. Um, with the federal lead program, it's a 75-25 split with the Stones that is on the application so there's no hidden i mean rob can speak on this because he's been he's experienced it as well but i've talked to a lot of agents out there they're like why am i giving them why am i paying for this and plus i'm only making you know 20 percent of the comp and all of that rob do you want to just touch on that just for a second and then we got to wrap this up well i mean that the opportunity is that hey if if you you know like lisa said there's there's lots of different options here and if you're an expert in that market already and you know how to do pension retirement reviews and 
and you can walk through that pretty easily, then then you don't need the assistance. But um, you know, I always tell everybody, hey, if somebody liked the option, you know, for the federal deal with the the stones that she mentioned, they've been clients of ours for a long time and buying appointments from a variety of these systems. Um, but I mean, they've already created the Formula One car for you, have the crew to change the wheels, tires. Um, they're teaching you how to drive it. And, um, you know, you're, you're, you're in, it's already been done. Like I said, the wheel's been built. So um, it's a pretty easy to walk in program and instantly gain some money. And I think um, one of the other things that's an issue with, you know, people in general is a lot of times we look at those um, percentages and I always joke around with agents and I'll say, hey, would you rather have, you know, 50% of $100 or would you rather have 100% of $10? Well, you'd rather have 50% of $100, right? It's more money. And really it's about the money and what you really produce um, at the end of the year. So, you know, don't let those percentages really scare you. You know, it's like, hey, um, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I'm not licensed just so everybody knows. I stay out of that contracting <laughs> side for sure. But, um, you know, you need to be, you know, look at it. You, people are smart people. I mean, you're dealing with people's money. Um, don't always look at the percentages because, um, you know, you need to really look at, hey, what's the bottom line dollar? What am I taking home? You know, what am I taking yeah. home to my spouse? What am I taking home to my family? And that's really what's important. And how much time am I spending doing it, right? Right. Um, because you need to have some free time. So this is just an opportunity for you guys to keep your pipeline fill, full, fill up some free time, be able to go on vacation and enjoy yourself, you know, um, the things in life that matter. So yep. Um, and Rob, I, we have like one minute left. I yep. want to I want to have you talk about no shows and paying for no shows. I've got a couple questions in the box for that. So if you can wrap that up in 60 seconds. <clears throat> Absolutely. So, can, so yep. yep. What's so, the no show you know, ratio and yep. are you charged for and paying for no shows? Okay. So most of these companies, if you're doing the paper lead thing at the prices you're paying, yes, you are charged for no shows. However, in the beginning of that. They will take care of no-shows and work with you. Some of these companies, depending on which one you pick, will sit there and they'll look at their no-show rate and they'll go, hey, we have a thousand clients that buy appointments from us. Um, the, no, the average no-show rate's 12.3%. Well, as long as you're close to that 12.3% and you're not at 35% or 40%, um, that means usually the agent's doing something weird. Um, then they will take care of it. But when you get out of those realms, you'll get a nasty you note from them saying, hey, Agent Steve, what are you doing that's different? Um, with these app split companies, um, one of the sterling ones that uh, you brought up, you're not paying for the appointments, you're only paying for what you close. So if you have a no-show there, um, you know it's not charged because they're not charging you for the ones that do show. So um, yep. depends which program you're on, we can answer that more in detail. Um, did I miss anything in there? Please? Nope. And I got another webinar I got to jump on that I'm hosting right now. So I got to. I want to say thank you for being there, this. everybody. We appreciate yes. your time. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Um, we'll be getting in touch with you. I'll be sending this webinar around. And if you have any questions, jot down this number 800 255 5055. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.